Hello, my divinities. So let me cleanse the area real quick. If you're watching this on Patreon, thank you guys so much for going all out and showing your support. I really appreciate the fact that you guys are doing everything you can to to show me how much you appreciate my time and energy. And um, let's get into today's collective message. Oh, by the way, if you're not on Patreon, um, if you just sign up with a dollar a month, one dollar for 30 days, you get access to the collective messages a few days ahead of anybody else. Because that's the perk I decided to give people who sign up to Patreon for the collective messages. Okay, so that being said, let's get started. What is the energy for today's collective message? We've got number 36. Okay. I don't think I've seen this one before. Number 36. This one is So Chung Pung. Take the initiative of love. So Chung Pung was a kisang of Yong Kong. Yong Kong Ham Yong Do. She was talented and had a beautiful face, so she was chosen to go to Hanyang by the system at that time, which selected talented people from all over the country and sent them to Hanyang. King Song Jong, who fell in love with her talent, secretly called her to sleep together. But So Chung Pung politely refused the suggestion because once she served the king, she had to stay lonely for the rest of her life. A few days later, a traveler came to So Chung Pung's house and called her. He was the king, Song Jong, getting out of the palace after disguising himself as a classical scholar while calling himself a playboy. The king asked her not to reject him because he was just a butterfly who came to the flower, not the king, and So Chung Pung accepted him. They shared a bed that night. How this applies. She was a wise woman who acted with conviction even in front of a man in power. It was clear that she would not be able to monopolize his affection after time, and if he and if his mind leaves, she would become miserable and lonely. Therefore she made a deal with the king. Eventually she took her love and substance at the same time. So easily captured love seems more worthless. He was the king, but the woman took the initiative in love detail it is called travel incognito when the king disguises himself as an ordinary person and leaves the palace only with a few attendants secretly to examine the city <laughs> the city isn't the only thing he's examining <laughs> but anywho <laughs> let's see how this plays out in today's collective uh oh that one went reversed uh oh okay empress reversed mm -mm. that's a great start the fool Five of Swords. Hmm. Oh, wow. Ten of Swords. Jesus. The Seven of Swords. The Devil. What the hell? I'm hearing the little... Um, you know, the gif of the Asian guy of emotional damage. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at the story because I don't even know what it is yet. I'm laughing at the emotional damage. Ace of Pentacles. And the Harvard. Hmm. With the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, the Star. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. The fact that we started off with the Empress, Empress reversed. was not a great sign but then it was followed up by these other cards and i have a feeling today's drama has a lot to do with tragedy um because in the story itself is about a woman who basically
didn't want to give all of herself to someone. She wanted to dictate the terms on how she wanted to give herself to someone, right? Because if she did become the king's concubine, she could only belong to him. And she felt like, oh, there's too many people that have your attention. So I'd rather we just spend some time together. But in, in this story, because we're translating it to modern day, right? I just don't think it went well. A lot of these cards indicate it did not go well. So we have the Empress Reverse Nine of Cups. This is somebody who's very careful about what they give. Usually the Empress is somebody who's abundant. Um, they, they mostly are known for being a giver because they have so much to give. When it comes to love, when it comes to affection, that's why they're known for their generosity because they are abundant. This Empress is not, or even if she is, she holds back. So this Empress holds back because she only gives when it serves her. And we're not judging her because this is a story. We're just telling someone's story, okay? So with the Fool card, it could be that once upon a time she did give all of herself and that did not go well. So now she's very strategic with how she gives and how much she gives. Um... The thing is that this strategy that she tried implementing on this king, it ended the situation between them. Because the king is very... Um, this is the king of wands. The king of wands wants it all. When the king of wands is, gets involved with someone, they want all of you. Which is not very, you know, that's understandable. So with the Seven of Swords, I think there was a lot of mind games between these two. There was a lot of um, strategy keeps coming to mind. Like both of them are trying to see who can end up with the upper hand in the connection. Which made the connection toxic because love is not about power. When you start bringing power plays into love, you already fucked up. So this could go a couple of different ways. Either one, this could be a king of wands who wanted, maybe they just wanted some time with her, which is why she was like, I'll give you some of my time, but it's going to be on my terms. And now, yeah, this could go where now they're like addicted to her energy and they want all of her. They want it to get serious. Or two, these two kept playing a game and this king is tired of this game and they're going to go look for someone where they can have all of that person. It's 50-50. It's it could go either way at this point. We'll see as we clarify which, which way we're going to lean in more. Hold on. I need some gum real quick. Clarify Nine of Cups. Let's see. The star sideways. Nine of Wands. Eight of Swords. Okay. I'm going to straighten up the star. star. I think when these two originally met, there's two different cards of a wish come true. They felt they were each other's wish come true. But... I think the king started off with it being a one-night stand or wanting it to be a one-night stand. And with the Eight of Swords, that's not what she wants. Um, she doesn't want to be someone who just 
has a moment of someone's time. She may be a little bit more idealistic about love. But what she's calling in, she wants long term, which is understandable. She wants something more substantial. So this is interesting because usually the Empress reversed is not very good. But I think in this case, it had more to do with her holding back what she had to give because this person would have would have taken it and not felt any two ways about it. And she had to be careful with what she was giving. Clarify the Empress reversed. Six of Pentacles. The Moon card. And the Death card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see, I see. So it could be that the masculine is the one showing up with the with the swords. I'm not blaming anybody in this story because remember this is just a collective. I'm just reading the energies of of the people involved. <clears throat> but in this particular collective it shows the masculine being more Trying to dominate a large force is what I'm trying to say. So Six of Pentacles is here, which means she is being the Empress. She is being generous. She is being um, kind. She is being giving. But with the Moon card, she's very aware of the undercurrents of what's happening. So let's use this example, right? And she was hanging out with the king and the king was admiring her and saying, how would you like to be one of my you know, concubines and I'll have you in this beautiful palace and yada, yada, yada. She also knew what was not mentioned. What was not mentioned was you'll have to compete with my wife and all of my other concubines for my time, for my body, for my heart. And if you don't succeed, you'll never be able to touch another man again. You'll never be able to have friends that are male again. So this empress was the same over here. She was being generous and giving with her time, but she was also aware of everything that was not mentioned. So with the death card, I don't think she accepted. Well, there's two different ways this could have go. Either one, she did accept the Knight of Wands energy, but she took it for what it was. She took it at face value. Like, well, they're saying that they want just a night of passion. A night of passion is all we'll have. Or two, saying that, that may be all they want, but I want more. And therefore, we are not compatible. So the Empress knew not to give of herself too much. Hmm. Clarify the fool. <laughs> the emperor. Clarify the fool. Queen of Wands. The Ace of Swords. Well, well, well. Look at this. You know what I'm getting? <laughs> oh, this is turning into a little bit of an epic drama. <laughs> I feel like the emperor was always an emperor. But they disguised themselves. Even here, the king of wands who is Zoro, is disguising himself. He's wearing a mask. He pretended to be a Knight of Wands when he was not actually a Knight of Wands. And the Empress pretended to be <laughs> a Queen of Wands. 
So initially, when they met, they both had a certain perception about each other. They were both incognito. <laughs> Until they clashed swords. And then they're like, oh, we have a hidden master here. Hmm. So the Empress, that's why she showed up reverse. She was hiding herself. Just So that was the moon energy too. She was hiding who she is, just like the Emperor was hiding who they were. It means that they've both gone through situations, and this is a little bit of mind games because they may be testing people. The Emperor might have gone around acting like a fuckboy, acting foolish, acting... Maybe flashing their money, things like that. But it's like, it was still immature on both of their parts. Because it's coming from a place of clearing out who the rats are by pulling them to you. It's still a little bit of a dirty trick. They both acted a fool when neither one of them is. And I think that they recognize that in each other. Think of it like, you know how in the story, the, key, the emperor, I believe it's the emperor, the king, whatever. The member of the royal house went incognito. Now imagine that she is, that this person is unmarried and she is a princess from another kingdom also going incognito. And she's acting like a Kisang because Kisangs, you know, got to move freely among the nobility. And she's moving among nobility freely, picking up gossip on which noble house does this and which son of nobles known for doing that. And she's gathering information to make her selection of partner. While the king is going incognito as well. In this story, she knew who it was. But what if in this story, at first, they did not know who they were? It took time for both of them to recognize the emperor and the empress in each other. And they may still not know. All they know is that this person is... They match each other. Look, they're, they're, they've found an energetic equal. Clarify five of swords. Ten of pentacles. Knight of swords and the... <laughs> oh, Lord. <sighs> so the emperor is showing up as someone who's wealthy. But this wealth has gone to their head a little bit. It makes them, well... I think that they may have surrounded themselves with yes men and yes women for a long time. So it made them a little cynical. As in, they started thinking, oh, okay, I see. So all you have to do is money, have money, and nobody disagrees with you. And it almost made them start pushing the envelope a little bit. As in, they might have started making absurd requests. <laughs> like, oh, you, you want me to do this for you? Okay, I want you to, um, I'm trying to think of some absurd request. I want you to go slap somebody with a banana peel. Like, it was just some weird ass shit. <laughs> okay, But it's like, that was their way of just... It wasn't great because it's five of sword energy, right? It's like fucking with people. 
But it was like their way of reassuring themselves. Yeah, this person is an idiot. Look at what they're willing to do for money. All because I show wealth? Are you serious? So it made them... Yeah. If they were single, they were pretty determined to stay single because they kept coming across people who were willing to show and do anything for somebody that showed wealth. Clarify Ten of Swords. Nine of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. The Hermit. With the Five of Cups. Meanwhile, back at the farm, the Empress has her own type of toxicity. With her, it has to do with being betrayed. It has to do with being disappointed, being stabbed in the back, living with a lot of regret and sorrow. So in her mind, people are not what they seem. Because you see how there's a scarecrow? So she kind of put it in her mind, well, nobody is what they seem. Why should I appear to be what I am? <laughs> and the universe was like, and now we push them together. <laughs> These two little fools come together. With the hermit energy, they possibly felt very alone in life. I've got to say, that's a little bit of arrogance. I don't think people realize that. The hermit energy is a little bit of arrogance. It's almost like saying, I'm the last good person left on earth. Anytime people post that type of sh I'm just like, oh my God. I swear to God, you're not the last good person on earth. They'll start talking about how they're loyal when no one else is loyal and they're they're generous when no one else like oh my god i can't stand it and i feel like these two had a little bit of a similar energy they felt like they were both just the last authentic <laughs> authentic person left on earth everybody's fake and now they're just going with the flow <laughs> clarify seven of swords a lot of cards how many is that oh that's that's a lot i'm gonna take the top three that's too many so i got the magician the six of swords and the five of wands with the queen of cups now the thing is that they don't understand that we are a frequency, right? So these two pretenders, <laughs> posers, met another pretender and poser. But it's without realizing it, since they challenge each other because they are equals in many ways, this place they were in, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Swords, they're learning to balance. They're at the six right now. The six is one of the smoothest swords. Because it's about problem solving. They may challenge each other, but it's almost like they feel, I may not tell anyone else what I think or what I feel, but I'll tell you. And what happened? The softer side of the Empress starts showing up. Not just the bold, audacious side. The softer side. Clarify the devil. The world card, clarify the devil. The Hierophant. And the King of Pentacles. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
see, first, they were both coming in with the toxic energy of, I'm not going to show people who I am because it doesn't, it doesn't help anyways. It just, it's going to get me hurt. It's going to get me played with. It's going to get me betrayed. It's going to get me robbed, whatever. Now, this devil energy, it's a totally different type of devil energy. Now, the fear is now I've found the one. What if the one doesn't stay? They both want more sta more stability. I think especially the masculine, interestingly enough, the masculine is the first one that shows up with commitment energy, hierophant energy. Now, there's a couple of ways this could go. Well, I don't really see third party. I was going to say Hierophant could also represent the masculine is married, but we'll see. If it continues that way, then we'll just go with that. But So the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles, the world card, this could indicate on one hand that the king is married and maybe they just assumed they were going to stay stuck wherever they were forever. And now they're not going to. Or two... It means that the masculine wants to wants to move forward towards commitment. But they're afraid that it won't last. Clarify the King of Wands. Temperance. Nine of Cups. Mm. Five of Swords and Strength. Okay. Unfortunately, it could be the first story. Where this Emperor is still married. Because they're still hiding behind... A mask. There's a lot that they're not sharing with this empress. And remember, Zoro, they want to be the smooth, charming, swoon worthy hero. But they're trying to keep their emotions under control. Because it's almost like they feel like there's only a piece of me that I can share with you. And they want that to be good enough. Almost like saying, Let's, can we just enjoy a moment? Can we just pretend that I'm not the king and we just enjoy this moment together? It's like all they want, excuse me, all they want is just enjoy this moment with me. Because they don't want to miss out on the connection with the empress, but they also don't want all the responsibility it comes with having to change their lives for this. Hmm. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, the Tower. Oh, wow. Yep, we got a quick, there it is. Queen of Pentacles, Justice, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. What the Five of Pentacles? The thing is, I don't know what's... The universe is about to intervene. Because I don't think this Empress knows. That this king is married. They're hiding. They're wearing a mask. They're coming to her incognito. Without their true identity. Being. Uh, out in the open. But the universe. Is calling them to task. Because they're. And now I do want to express the fact that. It's not like this person set out. To do this. I feel like it just kind of happened. 
but it was meant to with the justice card here and the wheel of fortune that showed up before uh did it i feel like it did yeah here it is it was meant to happen this way to put this king in the position to make a choice you have to make a choice you cannot have both and the king is refusing to make a choice so the universe is like okay we're going to make the choice for you the queen of pentacles is going to find out that there's an empress because the ace of pentacles is here for both that's why the king doesn't want to decide because they feel like there's potential with both so either the empress is about to find out that there's a queen of pentacles or the queen of pentacles is about to find out that there's an empress one of the two because in their day-to-day -day life they're like why why should i have to pick why can't i work with both and the universe is like no 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 that's not how you're supposed to do it because if we think of this like a um, building right let's say that this is a this is somebody who wants to make a building a, a beautiful skyscraper and there's these two construction companies that make a bid for for the job right they can't sign both contracts you would have to pick one or the other because they would both lose if you sign both contracts that means both companies get less that means uh, both companies have employees that would suffer so it has to be one or the other and this person is trying to do both they like that this company offers this and this company offers this why do they have to choose but at the same time they're not giving each company what they deserve clarify the harfoot the fool knight of cups two of pentacles and the four of cups because i think that the universe aligned this emperor with the empress because they weren't happy where they were at they always dreamt of more and the universe aligned them with somebody that could show them more however once they were aligned with that person they're also in the energy of if i don't tell this person what's what's going on in my life i don't have to make a decision so they stay in between they could never go full in with the empress because she doesn't know what's going on in their life she doesn't know what to hold them accountable for and if they did go all in then she would know so that they keep a she may feel them like they're they're distant sometimes they get close and then they get distant they get close and they get distant that's why so they don't want her to get too close because then she would know what all is going on in their life so with the full card they were meant to take a leap of faith they were meant to make a decision they were meant to follow their heart but they're sitting here like eh I mean, yeah, love's nice, but I also don't want to lose, lose my, my comfortability. And I think the universe is about to take matters. The universe is about to reveal the king and incognito. But that means that the empress is going to realize who they are, what they've been doing. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Well only time will tell how that turns out as usual i hope you guys enjoyed it um looking forward to feedback and comments make sure to react please as well and if it's public go ahead and share it talk to you guys later bye bye